Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Patricia Stewart of Patricia Stewart Originals. So, I had some gel prints that I did last year sometime. And most of them are on tissue paper. And a few of them are on deli paper. So I decided to use those today to make something of an art piece out of them. And because they're lightweight and delicate, I'm going to first use a glue stick to apply them. And then later, I'll use the matte medium on top. And so, when I first did the tissue paper, testing out how prints would... Uh, would it print well? Can I get it off the plate? And um, I just packed them away. So as I was going through some of the stuff that I had, I said, let me just um, try to use some of uh, the tissue paper that I have. And <clears throat> I wasn't sure what color combinations because I had various different types of color. Um, and I found myself, as I was picking different pieces, I found myself leaning more towards black and with a little red. Um, and so, you know, I tried to fit in just a couple of pieces of uh, green, turquoise, touch of orange in between.
Okay, so here is the piece. <clears throat> it didn't take long at all to get them, you know, glued down. Uh, I think it's because I was using a glue stick, it made it much easier. One of the other things I did was I took a picture of the placement of the pieces before I started, just in case I got turned around and didn't know exactly where I wanted to put them. So it's good to take a picture of your pieces that you're assembling for collage once you have them positioned where you want them to be. And so this is very simple. It was quick and easy to do. And um, the tissue paper worked quite well for me there. And as I look at it, I wonder is there something else that, that it needs? Do I need to use some mark making? Although I have mark making papers here. And I don't know. I kind of like it just the way um, that it is. And if I was going to frame that as a piece, I would prefer to use a black matting with it. And I don't have one right now, which I will get some different color matting. But the black matting probably would look a lot better in terms of framing it. Or at least a matting that has a little black on the inner, uh, white on the outside. So, there you have it. This was really fast and quick. Um, my backing paper, this paper here, I just used some uh, cardstock uh, to adhere it to. Now you could use whatever you want. And, um, if you haven't tried your hand at uh, doing some jelly prints on tissue paper, that might be something you want to do. I think in my much, much earlier videos, if you scroll all the way down in my video section, you will find where I did tissue paper. And it um, has a nice effect. And something else I wanted to mention today <clears throat> Um, I'm doing a challenge for myself with index cards. So I have these plain index cards. I have about 500 of them. And these are unlined back and front and very thin. <clears throat> Not as thick as uh, index cards that uh, they used to have years ago. But it, it, it works pretty good on a gel plate. And I use my 5x7 gel plate to pull my prints with these index cards. And so, I also have a index card box. So I have my cards all in them. And when they're finished, they will go in the box. And so the idea is that I will try to do five a day. And I did five earlier.
this one I was cleaning off what was left on my um, plate, 5 by 7 plate. So, if I can do 5 a day, uh, the goal is by the end of the year uh, that I would have these 500 index cards completed. And <clears throat> yes, I have a whole lot of other things to do, <laughs> but I, I'm just, it's just a personal goal of mine. If any of you want to join along, you're certainly welcome to do so. But I, I just want to do some index cards, <clears throat> pull prints or from cleaning up the gel plate or or whatever. Uh, they don't have to be pulled prints, but certainly I would, you know, decorate them. And, and I can even go back in on another day and add whatever I want to add to them. And so, yes, it's 500 cards are a lot. So I'm down to 500 and uh, 495 because I did five today. So I just want to, sometimes these types of things spark a certain um, idea or creativity um, when I'm working on them. Uh, my brain is also processing other uh, creative things. Um, and so it's just a helpful exercise for me to do. Besides all the other uh, artwork that I'm creating. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, thank you for the get well wishes. I'm feeling better, although this cold is still trying to hold on longer. And um, I hope that you're enjoying the process of doing art especially mono printing with the gel plate and continually creating. Thanks again for joining me today. Till next time.